So here we are with Lady Mould Catcher, and this is um, what we're going to do now. We're going to, um, I'm going to show you um, how to put a tunnel trap in, okay? Or a duffer's trap, and these sit below the ground. So here we go. I'm going to find the run again. It's a little deep. Oh, there we are. There we are. So you saw that the, the mould probe goes down. There it is. So I'm going to dig a hole to start with only the size of my trowel here and because you can always make it bigger but you can't make it smaller and it's those two words again tight and tidy so here I am excavating as I do like a little mole and then so I'm getting rid of all that earth in there and then I'm going to make sure that doesn't go into a three-way before I make it bigger. I'm going to measure that like that. I'm going to dig that down so it fits really nice and tightly and snug because I don't want it wobbling all over the place. go again and then hopefully when we come back we will see that we've got him there we are so I'm just patting that down so it's like moles left it then I'm going to get this trap here and I'm going to set it Sorry, a bit fiddly. So I'm going to get this trap here and I'm going to set it. So I'm going to push these down like this, pop that over there like that, ping that all through there like that. Do the same on each side. And I'll just show you what happens. Mole's going to go through here. He's going to activate this. So it's very, very quick. So for all of those who think that this is cruel to the animal, it absolutely isn't, it's very efficient and it is the way that causes the minimum suffering to the animal. We're going to sit that in the ground like that. So, so as you can see, there's no give in that, it's not, there's no wobble at all, there's no light coming in here. We're going to put a little bit of earth over here like this, just to make sure there's no more light coming in. Turn the earth over, mark it with my little flag, come back later. Put that there like that. Mm-hmm.